Today's lesson is coefficient of adhesion and its improvement. Before going to the coefficient of adhesion and its improvement, first we are knowing the mechanism of the power transformer transfer in the traction motor traction. That is more mechanism of the power transfer in the traction. That is the power will be transferred from the traction motor to the driving wheel. That will be explained from this figure. The here the figure there is a two parts is there upper part and lower part in the upper part there is two parts the two circles is there that is the big circle will be representing the traction motor the small circle will representing the motor pinion in the lower part there is a big circle is there that big circle will be representing the driving wheel or locomotive wheel and the small circle will be representing the gear wheel. In the lower part there is the track is there and also the motor pinion that will be measured with the gear wheel and the gear wheel will be the key to the driving wheel. Here there is the sum terms and also the tractive efforts that will be explained in the next. next. Let us see next. Here, small d, big D will be representing the diameter of the driving wheel. Small d1 is equal to the diameter of the motor pinion. D2, small d2 is equal to the diameter of the gear wheel or is equal to the gear ratio. T is equal to the torque exerted by the traction motor. Let us see next. Eta is equal to efficiency of the power transmission. F of F F of F will be the F of T will be the tractive effort at the driving wheel or is equal to the gear ratio that is equal to the speed of the motor pinion by speed of the driving axle that is equal to the n1 by n2 n1 is equal to the speed of the motor pinion n2 is equal to the speed of the driving axle or locomotive wheel that is equal to the d2 by d1 that is called the gear ratio let us see next the torque at the edge of the pinion T is equal to the tractive effort at the motor pinion into D1 that is equal to the diameter of the diameter of the motor pinion by 2 Newton meter. From this equation this equation can be rewritten as F is equal to torque at the edge of the motor pinion into 2 by D1 that is D1 is the diameter of the motor pinion. This tractive effort transferred to the gear wheel at the same rate that is the tractive effort at the motor pinion is equal to the tractive effort at the gear wheel. But the tractive efforts at the driving axle is not equal to the tractive effort at the gear wheel. The tractive effort at the driving axle is equal to, let us see next, F of T is equal to efficiency of the power transmission into F, the tractive effort at the motor pinion into D2 that is D2 will be the diameter of the gear wheel by big D. Big D is equal to the diameter of the <coughs> di diameter of the driving axle. That is equal to the efficiency eta into T into 2 by D1 into D2 by D. That is equal to efficiency eta into T into 2 into D2 
टू बै डी वन बै डी दट कैन बी रीवेटन एज ईटा इंटू टी इंटू टू इंटू आर् बै डी दट इज आर इज दि गेर रेशो नेक्स्ट वी आर् गोयिंग टू कोशन आफ् अडेशन अंड इट्स इंप्रूवमेंट कोशन आफ् अडेशन द अट्राक्टिव एफर्ट अट द ड्रैविंग एक्सी will be increased by increasing the torque exerted by the traction motor but if this is possible up to a certain limit after any increasing the tractive effort the, the uh, uh, after any increasing the torque exerted by the traction motor the tractive effort will not be increasing with the driving axles but there is a cause of slipping of the driving axles so the maximum tractive effort at which the driving wheels will not slip will be depends upon the dead weight on the driving axles this dead weight will be equal to the adhesive weight or locomotive weight that's why i am written as let us see next that is maximum tractive effort at the driving axle at which the wheels do not slip is proportional to the weight of the driving axles that is f is proportional to w here f is the maximum tractive effort at the driving axles and w is the dead weight or adhesive weight that f is next f is equal to mu a into w that mu a will be called as coefficient of adhesion this coefficient of adhesion will be varies from time to time that is in the <coughs> mu a is equal to 0.25 to 0.3 for the dry rails that is equal to the mu a is equal to 0.15 to 0.2 for the grazy rails let us see next the attractive effort the attractive effort at the loc of the locomotive will be increased by the not only it is not only increasing of the traction torque exerted by the traction motor but at the same time the weight of the driving axles driving axles also to be increased so that only adhesive weights on the locomotive will be increases this is possible in the steam locomotive by coupling axles connected to the um, driving axles driving axles adhesion plays an important role at the braking period the adhesion the braking effort or braking force will be more than adhesive weight the coefficient of adhesion will be reduces adhesion plays also important role in the running period also adhesion at the starting coefficient of adhesion at the starting will be more than the coefficient of adhesion at breaking period coefficient of adhesion at the starting is more than coefficient of adhesion at running period coefficient of adhesion at any speed will be less than the coefficient of adhesion at starting period the relationship between the coefficient of adhesion at starting and coefficient of adhesion at running periods is given by the some companies that is uh, French National Railways companies and second one circuits and limper companies first we are going to see that is French National Railway companies that is mu a or is equal to the mu a s into 8 plus 0.1 v by 8 plus 0.1 v this is given by the French National Railways next mu a or is equal to mu a s into 7.5 by v plus 49 this is given by the circuits and nipper company now let us see next mu a or is the coefficient of adhesion at running period mu a s is the coefficient of adhesion at starting period v is the speed of the locomotive let us see next before going to the factors affecting the coefficient of adhesion and also the improvement of the coefficient of adhesion i want to do one problem the problem is an electric locomotive it is required to haul a train having 10 coaches 
each of 25 ton on a main line track the initial acceleration is 1.0 km phps of a gradient of 1.5 in 100. The permissible axle loading is 18 ton per axle. Take rotational inertia is to be 5% for coaches and 10% for the locomotive. If the tractive effort, tractive resistance is 60 newtons per ton and coefficient of addition is 0.21. I am read the problem once again for the clear understanding what is the given data in the problem. An electric locomotive is required to haul a train having 10 coaches each of 25 ton on a main line track. The initial acceleration is 1.0 km phps up a gradient of 1.5 in 100. The permissible axle loading is 18 ton per axle. Take the rotational inertia is to be 5% for the coaches and 10% for the locomotive. If the tractive resistance is 60 newton per ton and coefficient of adhesion is 0.21. We are going to the solution. Solution given data. Number of coaches is 10. Each of coach weight is 25 ton. Train coaches weight WC is equal to the number of coaches into the weight of the coach weight of the coach that is 10 into 25 that is 250 tons. Let us see next. Acceleration alpha is equal to the 1.2 km, km phps gradient upwards g will be equal to the 1.5 in 100 that is equal to 1.5 by 100 into 100 that is equal to 1.5 next load per axle that is equal to 18 Rotational inertia is equal to the 5% for coaches. Rotational inertia is equal to the 10% for the locomotive. The tractive resistance is 40 newtons per ton. Coefficient of adhesion is equal to the 0.21. Next, we are going to the calculating effective weights. Effective weight of the coaches WC is equal to WC plus 5% of rotational inertia into WC that is WC plus 5% into WC that is equal to 1.05 WC. Next effective weight of the locomotive WLE is equal to the weight of the locomotive plus rotational inertia 10% of the weight of the locomotive that is equal to WL plus 10% of the WL that is equal to 1.1 WL. Let us see next. The tractive effort available at driving axles is given by the equation F of T is equal to f of a plus f of r plus f of g. I am given for this equation number one equation. In the above equation, f of a is equal to the tractive effort during acceleration period. That is equal to the 277.8 W E alpha W E alpha. Next f of r that is equal to the tractive effort to overcome the train resistance that is equal to WR. Next we are giving F of G that is tractive effort to overcome the upgradient that is equal to the WG. Substituting these values in the equation 1 that is F of T is equal to F of A plus F of R plus f of g that is equal to 277.8 we alpha 
प्लस डब्ल्यू ए डब्ल्यू आर प्लस डब्ल्यू जे लेट अस सी नेक्स्ट इन द इक्वेशन टू इन द इक्वेशन टू हैव सम टाइम्स दैट इज डब्ल्यू ए दैट इज इफेक्टिव वेट ऑफ द ट्रेन दैट इज इक्वल टू द डब्ल्यू एल ए प्लस डब्ल्यू सी ए that w l e is nothing but weight of the effective weight of the locomotive and w c e is the effective weight of the coaches and w is the weight of the train that is equal to the w c plus w l w c is the weight of the coaches and w l is the weight of the locomotive then f of t is equal to 277.8 w e alpha plus w r plus w g i am 27 next 277.8 w c e plus w l e into alpha plus in plus w c plus w l into r plus w c plus w l into g substituting the given data values in the above equation let us see next that is f of t is equal to 277.8 into 1.05 into 25 Into ten plus one point one W L into one point two plus twenty five into ten plus W C into forty plus twenty five into ten plus W C into ninety eight point one into one point eight. After calculating all this, we can get thirteen forty two ninety four point five plus five fifty three point eight five W C newtons. maximum tractive effort at which the driving wheels will not slip is given by f of t is equal to mu into w l mu into w l that is equal to the 0.21 into 9.81 into 1000 into w l i am giving for this fourth equation for calculating the locomotive weight or hrc weight we are equating the 3 and 4 equations we will get 1342 94.5 plus 553.85 wl is equal to 0.21 into 9.81 into 1000 into wl after calculating for calculation wl is equal to 1342 94.5 By fifteen or six point two five four, that is equal to eighty nine one five eight tons. Here in the problem, there is a load per axle we are given, that is eighteen tons per eighteen. <coughs> the number of driving axles is equal to eighty nine point one five by eighteen, that is four point nine five. That is roughly five axles will be required in the for the locomotive. For giving the maximum tractive effort, let us see next. Factors affecting the coefficient of adhesion. Adhesion is a result of result of meshing of the rough patches that will occur on even most highly polished surfaces, and interatomic forces between the between interatomic forces between these rough rough patch rough rough surfaces which will result in a sort of welding between them in contact between the rail and wheel there is a forging bodies such as films of the metallic oxides and organic matters and absorbed gases by the upper layers of the metals these are determinedly affect on the coefficient of adhesion mostly the factors that which affects on the coefficient of adhesion will be classified into the three types that is first one that will track second one mechanical parts third one electrical parts in next let us see next influencing of the 
track influencing of the track on the coefficient of adhesion first point i will take that is rail condition affects the coefficient of adhesion that is if the rails will be the wet if the rails will be the dry if the rails will be the dry the coefficient of adhesion will be more that is 0 0.25 to 0.33 if the rails will be the wet the coefficient of adhesion will be the 0.15 to 0.2 next condition if the rails will be the oily or dew condition the coefficient of adhesion will be reduces third one the weather condition also affects the coefficient of adhesion if the weather will be wet if the weather will be the partially wet if the weather will be the dry condition in the three condition the coefficient of adhesion will be the changes that is the, if the weather will be the wet condition the rails also wet condition the coefficient of adhesion will be the poor if the weather will be the dry condition the rails also will be the in the dry condition the coefficient of adhesion will be the more third one uneven contact surface between the rail and wheel also reduces the coefficient of adhesion in the crossings fourth one in the crossing crossings and the longitudinal level levels of the track and also affects the coefficient of adhesion in the crossings the contract between the rail and wheel will be reduces that also affects the coefficient of adhesion next we are going to the mechanical parts in the mechanical parts mechanical parts in the vertical under the in the vertical shock condition that is the contact between the rail and wheel the contact surface between the rail and wheel will be depends upon the elastic reaction suspension if there is elastic suspension and damping arrangement is there in the bogey more will be the coefficient of adhesion next one bogey pitching oscillations bogey pitching oscillations also give the vari variation in the axial loads this also affects the coefficient of adhesion third one if the sudden increasing the mechanic breaking mechanical breaking force that also reduces the coefficient of adhesion fourth one the connection between the wheel axles and the bogey above the rails the, the momentum of inertia will be will be more that improves the coefficient of adhesion next we are going to the electrical parts in the go, in the electrical parts if the tractive effort will be increases that gives the uh, that uh, affects the coefficient of adhesion if the sudden increase in the electrical breaking force that reduces the coefficient of adhesion if the torque exerted third one if the torque exerted by the traction motor will be increases that affects the coefficient of adhesion next we are going to the improvement of the coefficient of adhesion improvement of the coefficient of adhesion in this first point presence of the rust on the rails that improves the coefficient of adhesion presence of the rust on the rails will be improves the coefficient of adhesion presence of the dust also improves the coefficient of adhesion if the rails will be the dry that improves the coefficient of adhesion fourth point sand treatment is the cheapest device that give the temporary improvement of the coefficient of adhesion fifth point electrical sparking between the rail and wheel that destroy the forgen bodies on the surfaces that improves the coefficient of adhesion fifth point electrical sparking between the rail and wheel that removes the gases absorbed by the upper layers of the metals that improves the coefficient of adhesion the fourth sixth point that is in the due to the track irregularities due to the track irregularities can cause the vertical acceleration condition in the vertical acceleration condition there is the suspended weight will be more due to the suspended weight will be more what happens the rail pressure will be the high if the rail pressure will be the high the contact surface between the rail and wheel will be more that's why that improves the coefficient of adhesion fourth one due to the coupling axles the momentum of inertia of the revolving masses will be more that improves the coefficient of adhesion 
seventh eighth point the loss of adhesion will be increases the loss of adhesion uh, will be the loss of adhesion will be prevented the loss of adhesion will be prevented by the shunting the armature with a resistance in the for the motor that uh, diverts the some of the armature current with the with that resistance then the torque exerted by the traction motor will be decreases that improves the coefficient of adhesion this is the factors influencing on the coefficient of adhesion on the improvement of the coefficient of adhesion next we are going to the some problems on the coefficient of adhesion let us see next problem a train consists of 12 coaches each weighing of 30 tons is to be hauled by electric locomotive on a main line an acceleration of 0 0.0 km phps of a gradient of 1% the rotational inertia is to be 9% for coaches and 15% for the locomotive the maximum coefficient of hydration is 0 0.2 and the track resistance is 49 Newton per ton determine the adhesive weights and also the number of driving axles I am repeating the problem once again for the clear understanding and clear knowing of the what are the given given data in the problem a train consists of a 12 coaches each weighing of 30 tons is to be hauled by a electric locomotive on a main line track of an acceleration of 0 0.0 km phps up a gradient of 1% the rotational inertia is to be 9% for coaches and 15% for the locomotive. The maximum coefficient of adhesion is 0.2 and the track resistance is 49 Newton per ton. Determine the adhesive weight of the driving axles. Next, we are going to the solution. In the solution, what are the given data? given data that is number of coaches is 12 weight of the each coach will be the 30 tons weight of the train coaches wc is equal to the number of coaches into the weight of the each coach that is equal to 12 into 30 that is 360 ton let us see next Acceleration alpha is equal to the 0.8 km phps. Gradient upwards g will be the 1 in 100 that is 1%. 1 by 100 into 100 that is equal to the 1. Load per axle is equal to the 20 tons. Coefficient of adhesion is 0 0.2. Tractive resistance is equal to 40 newtons per ton. Next, we are calculating the effective wires of the coaches and the locomotive. Effective weight of the coaches WC is equal to the weight of the coach plus 4% of the weight of the coach. That is 4% is the rotational inertia of the for the coaches. That is equal to WC plus 4% of the WC that is equal to 1.04 WC. Next, Effective weight of the locomotive WLE is equal to the WL plus 15% of the WL. That 15% is the rotational inertia of the locomotive. Next, that is equal to the 1.15 WL. Next, tractive effort available at driving axles. Let us see next. F of T is equal to F of A plus F of R plus F of G. This F of T is the tractive effort that will be available at the driving axle. F of T is equal to F of A plus F of R plus F of G. In the above equation, F of A is equal to tractive effort during the acceleration period that is equal to 277.8 we alpha 
f of r is equal to the tractive effort to overcome train resistance that is w r f of g the tractive effort to overcome up gradient that is w g substituting these values in the equation 1 we can get f of t is equal to f of a plus f of r plus f of g that is equal to 277.8 w e alpha plus w r plus w g i am giving for this equation second equation in the above equation let us see next W E is the effective weight of the train that is equal to the W C E plus W L E. In this equation, W C E is the effective weight of the coaches, W L E is the effective weight of the locomotive, W C E is the effective weight of the coaches. Next, W is the equal to weight of the train that is equal to WC plus WL. WC is the weight of the coaches. WL is the weight of the locomotive. F of T is equal to 277.8 WE alpha plus WR plus WG. That 277.8 into WCE plus WLE into alpha plus WC plus WL into R plus WC plus WL into G. Substituting the given data values in the above equation, let us see next. F of t is equal to the 277.8 into 1.04 into 360 plus 1.15 w l into plus 360 plus w c into 98.1 into 5 plus 360 plus w c into I am correcting that is the 360 plus WC WL into at W or what is the train resistance? Train resistance will be the 40. After calculating this, we, we will get 1361.80.66 plus 147.15 WL. I am giving for this equation third equation the maximum tractive effort that will be available at the driving axles so that the driving wheels will not slip is given by the equation that is f of t is equal to the mu w here mu is the coefficient of adhesion and w is the dead weight on the driving axles f of t is equal to the mu into w that is equal to 0.2 into 9.81 into 1000 into WC. I am giving for this equation fourth equation. In the both equation, the variable will be the WL. For that, I am for calculating the locomotive weight or adhesive weight that is the WL, I am equating third and fourth equations. The third equation is 1361.80.66 plus 147.15 WL is equal to 9810 into 0.2 WL. The WL is equal to the 75 tons that is locomotive weight or adhesive weight that is 75 tons. Number of axial next the load per axles axle will be the 20 tons load per axles will be the 20 tons the number of axles will be equal to the adhesive weight by load per axle that is equal to the 75 by 20 that is equal to 3.75 that is equal to the four roughly four axles that is the four axles will be required for giving the 
for maximum tractive effort of a locomotive. Okay, let us see next problem. The problem. Problem. A 500 ton goods train used to be hauled by a locomotive up a gradient of 2 percent with an acceleration of 1.2 km phps. Coefficient is 25 percent. Track resistance is 40 newtons per ton and effective rotating masses is 10 percent of the dead weight. Find the weight of the locomotive and the number of axles if the axle load is not to exceed 21 tons. I am repeating once again problem for the clear understanding, clear knowing of the given data. A 500 ton course train is to be hauled by a locomotive up a gradient of 2 percent with an acceleration of 1.2 km phps. Coefficient of hydration is 25 percent. Track resistance is 40 newtons per ton and effective rotational masses is 10 percent over the dead weight. Find the weight of the locomotive and the number of axles if the axle load is not exceed 21 ton. Solution. Given data, weight of the train WC is equal to 500 tons. Weight of the train with the locomotive. W is equal to the weight of the train, weight of the coaches plus weight of the locomotive. That is equal to the WC plus WL. That is equal to the 500 plus WL. Next, effective weight of the train WE is equal to the weight of the train with locomotive plus 10% of the W, 10% of the weight of the train that 10 percent is the rotational masses that is the 10 percent of the rotational masses of the weight of the train that is equal to the w plus 10 percent of the w that is equal to 1.1 w upgradient g will be the 2 percent that is equal to the 2 by 100 into 100 that is equal to the 2 let us see next Acceleration alpha is equal to 1.2 km phps. Up a gradient g is equal to 2 percent that is the 2 in 100, 2 by 100 into 100 that is equal to the 2. Load per axle that is equal to the 21 tons. Coefficient of adhesion is 0.25. Next, tractive effort available at driving axles is equal to f of t is equal to f of a plus f of r plus f of g that is i am giving the first equation that is equal to 277.8 w e alpha and w r and w g i am giving for the second equation in this w e is the effective weight of the train and alpha is the acceleration and w is the weight of the train and r will be the train resistance and here w will be the weight of the train and g is the gradient up gradient. After substituting the given data values in the above equation we will get we will return this equation like this that is 277.8 into 1.1 into w plus w l into alpha plus r into w plus w l plus w plus w l into g that is 277.8 into 1.1 into 500 plus w l plus 40 into 500 plus w l plus 98.1 into 2 into 500 plus WC, WL. Here after calculating all this equation we will get that is 541.78 into 500 plus WC Newtons. I am correcting this Newton.
newton let us see next the maximum tractive effort at which the drying wheels will not slip is given by the equation f of t is equal to mu into w l its f of t is the maximum tractive effort and mu is the coefficient of adhesion and w l is the weight of the locomotive or adhesive weight that is equal to 0.25 into 9.81 into 1000 into w l equating here in this equation on the given above equation the variable is the w l equating the both equation we will get the locomotive weight or adhesive weight that is equal to 541 0.78 into 500 plus W L is equal to the 0.25 into 9810 W L. W L is equal to 27.614 by 0.194773. That is equal to the 141.77 tons. Number of axles is equal to the adhesive weight by load per axle. That is equal to 141.7 by 1 by 21. That is equal to the seven. The seven axles will be required for giving the maximum tractive effort to the driving axles. Now let us see next exercise. Multiple choice questions. First one. Coefficient of adhesion for the dry rails. That is A, 0.252.33, B, 0.152.2, C, 0.62.7. Here in this, A will be the correct answer. The coefficient of adhesion for the dry rails will be the 0.252.33. Second question, coefficient of adhesion for the wet rails will be A. 0.2522.33, B 0.152.02.2, C 0.62.7. The correct answer will be the B is equal to B. That is 0.152.2. Third question: Coefficient of adhesion is more when the rails will be the A wet, B will be the dry, C partially wet. The coefficient of adhesion is more when the rails will be the dry condition. Let us see next. B short answer questions. First one. What is meant by the coefficient of adhesion? The tractive effort at the the tractive effort at the drying wheels will be. The maximum traffic attractive effort to given the driving wheels will be less. <coughs> the driving wheels will not slip. Will not slip. That will be that f of t maximum attractive effort will be proportional to the dead weight on the driving axles. That is equal to the f of t is equal to mu a into w. That mu a is the coefficient of adhesion. Next second question: What are the factors affect on the coefficient of adhesion? There are the three, three question, three factors affects on the coefficient of adhesion. First one will be the track, second one will be the mechanical parts, and third one will be the electrical parts. The next topic, next topic will be lightning ar ar arrangements in the electric traction.